Welcome to Lecture Online. Now here we have an interesting example in which we're going to try and apply Lahapato's rule. At first you look at that and go, wow, what am I dealing with here? 1 plus the sine of 2x raised to the cotangent of x. Well, we have a trick for that. Let's say that we have y is equal to this function. So the function 1 plus the sine of 2x raised to the cotangent of x. If we now take the natural log of y, we can then say that the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of 1 plus the sine of 2x raised to the cotangent of x. And then, of course, the rule with natural logs is that you can put this and place it in front. So you can say that the natural log of y is equal to the cotangent times the natural log of cotangent of x, of course, times the natural log of 1 plus the sine of 2x. And then you can say, well, the natural log of y can be written as a fraction. This can be written as the natural log of 1 plus the sine of 2x divided by the tangent of x. And now we have ourselves a fraction. Now we can take the limit of the natural log of the function rather than the function itself. Now we say the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural log, natural log of y, which is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural log of 1 plus the sine of 2x divided by the tangent of x. When we plug in the limit, yes, let's see what happens. The sine of 2x, when you plug in 0, we get the sine of 0, which is 0, and the natural log of 1 is 0. Divided by, when we plug in 0 for tangent, the tangent of 0 is 0 as well, and we end up with a 0 over 0 condition, for which we can use Lahapital's rule, which means we can find the limit of this using Lahapital's rule by taking the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. What we're going to do first is take the limit as x approaches 0 of that function of the natural log of 1 plus the sine of 2x divided by the tangent of x. To get the limit for that, we need to find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. That becomes the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the numerator, which is 1 divided by 1 plus the sine of 2x, times the derivative of the contents in here, which is the cosine of 2x times 2. So let me go ahead and put the 2 in front. So 2 times the cosine of 2x, all divided by the derivative of the tangent of x. Now, if you don't remember the derivative of the tangent of x, you can do it like this. The tangent of x is equal to the sine of x divided by the cosine of x for the derivative, so the d dx of the tangent of x is equal to the derivative of this fraction, which means it's equal to the cosine of x times the derivative of the sine of x, which is the cosine of x, minus the derivative of the numerator, sine of x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is the minus sine of x, which becomes minus sine of x squared, all divided by cosine square of x, the denominator squared. Cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is 1 over the cosine square of x, which is equal to the secant square of x. The derivative of the tangent of x is the secant square of x, which is basically 1 over the cosine square of x. Can we now take the limit of that? Well, let's rewrite it just a little bit. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 times the cosine of 2x divided by 1 plus the sine of 2x in the numerator divided by, I'll just write it like this, 1 over the cosine square of x. And that's in the denominator. Now let's apply the limit and see what we get. So when we let x go to 0, the cosine of 0 is 1, so 2 times 1 gives me 2 divided by, the sine of 0 is 0, that becomes 2 over 1 divided by 1 over, the cosine of 0 is 1, so 1 over 1, and that becomes equal to 2. 
What this is telling me is that if I take the natural log of the function and I find the limit, I get 2. But it's the natural log of the function. The natural log of y, or I should say the limit, as x approaches 0 of the natural log of y is equal to 2. So what is the limit for y instead of the natural log of y? Well, we take the analog of both sides. At the limit, the limit as x approaches 0 of e raised to the natural log of y is equal to e to the second power. What we're doing here is we're taking the analog of both sides to get back to the function. The limit as x approaches 0 of e to the natural log of y, which is simply of y, which is the function that we started with in the first place, is therefore equal to e to the second power. And that becomes the limit of our original function. The limit as x approaches 0 of 1 plus the sine of 2x raised to the cotangent of x is equal to e to the second power. And that's how we do that.